Good morning, y'all. I am just whipping up some breakfast this morning. I have such a fun day planned for us. We're gonna do some decorating and some cooking. I actually went to Walmart yesterday to see if they had out any fall decor yet. My Walmart only had out a few things, but I thought I would take you in there and show you what they did have. I did pick up one really cute pumpkin, which I'll show you in just a little bit. I'm gonna go get myself ready for the day, and then I'll meet y'all back here in the kitchen so we can get to cooking and decorating. They definitely have all the fall decor. Okay, well some of it, you can tell they're still putting a few things out, but I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got myself ready for the day. I am so excited to do some decorating. Let me catch y'all up. I have been playing around and I got my shelves perfect. Like when I tell you I love them, I love them. At nighttime, it is so cozy. I love all of like the flickering lights. So I'm gonna show y'all what I've done over there. And then in our kitchen, I've been playing around. I kind of have everything where I want it except for our kitchen island. I cannot figure out what I want as like a centerpiece right here. So we're gonna try and figure that out today. And then also in my living room, I've been playing around, but it is not decorated either. So we're gonna do that as well. I am so excited. And then Bunky and I are gonna make a super yummy lunch. We are gonna have like a Mediterranean salad. We're gonna make homemade hummus. We're gonna do like a steak salad as well. Y'all, it is gonna be scrumptious, but let me show you these shelves first. Okay, so here is an overview, and then I'll go up close so you can see kind of like all of the details, but I just love the color scheme of this. It's so like traditional fall. I don't know, y'all. It's so pretty, and I know like buffalo plaid really isn't in anymore, but I still love the little pops of it. So over here on this shelf, I did like my amber glass. This is um the leaves that I got from that spade and broom store. And then this is also the pot that I picked up from there. And I think this looks so, so pretty. So I kind of wanted this theme for the shelves to kind of be like in the kitchen, baking, coffee, cozy, you get the picture. I feel like it came together really well. So I have my little pumpkin spice latte sign over here, some coffee mugs, my pumpkin pie, pumpkin, my little scale, and those have like little flickering lights. And then down here I have my dough bowl with a couple different pumpkins, these little flickering lights. These came from Hobby Lobby. I've had them for years. Y'all know, every year I tell you, they're like my favorite. I just think they're so fun and funky and the colors are really good. And then over here on our little like coffee station, these are like all of our little syrups that we use. And then this little tin came from Michael's, I think last year, and I just used it to put all of our Nespresso pods in. And then this little light, y'all know I also love so much. Um, it came from a little store in Lincolnton, North Carolina. And for some reason, I cannot think of the name right now, but if I think of it, I'll type it here on the screen, but I think it is so cozy. Let me turn on all the lights so I can kind of show you what it looks like at nighttime. I 
almost forgot to show y'all what I got from Walmart yesterday. So I did find this pumpkin. It was the only one. It was like sitting on the shelf by itself, but it is so pretty. And of course, just matches our house so well. It looks very coastal, totally my vibe. It was $16.98. Kind of, I feel like a little pricey for Walmart, but not too terrible. And I did end up getting this cloche from Home Goods yesterday. Is this not so pretty? If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me share this and tell you my thought. I was thinking originally I was going to put this in there with like a little candle but then then I remember that I got this pretty little flickering pumpkin from Target last year and I was like oh I can use this in here instead of like the little candle and I'll still have a pretty glow and light and I love the way this pumpkin looks sitting on this cute little mini wreath I just think it's so pretty so this actually fits better inside of the cloche so I'm thinking this is going to be our setup for in there I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet but that's that and then centerpiece wise y'all i'm stumped so let's get to decorating Okay, so I know that I want these two things to kind of be my anchor pieces, and I know that I want this candle here. Whenever I try and add florals to this area, not just for fall, but just in general, something about where they sit underneath this light, it always just kind of looks cluttered. I don't know. I always end up not liking it. So I'm going to take that away. I want to use these three things, but I got to like judge this because this is just way too plain. That's your contribution? Mm -hmm. That's what you think I should do? Yeah. <laughs> well, put it over there. <laughs> How about you decorate? This would be hilarious, Funky, if I let you do our centerpiece and see what you can come up with. That would actually be hysterical. Hold on, here's, here's another one. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I mean, that is the general idea of what I'm going to do with that. Oh, hold on. We go a step further. Okay. Bunky, I'm so proud of you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so proud of you. This is hilarious. Oh, oh added touch. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta go here. Here, hold on, hold on. I am, y'all, I'm dying. Oh, watch this. Oh, I like the way you do that. Hold on. It'll just fit around there, B. You can just sit it down. It'll fit around there. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you are laughing as far as I am. So cute, Bunk. Now, you better leave that. Okay, well, can I tell you my idea? I worked hard on that. I know, but listen. I just want to put this one in there instead of that one because this lights up. But I'm still going to leave that in there. But this this doesn't look as good with our little uh, leaf wreath. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. This I'm, pumpkin is way too big for this, by the way. It's not supposed to actually go on there. I just sat it in there. Okay, I'm going to get back to decorate in this little centerpiece. Okay, so this is a little bit better. I'll probably honestly keep playing with this because I still feel like it's missing something. And for our kitchen island, I don't know. It's something about the rectangle tray that throws me off. I feel like it really needs something round. So I may try and find a round tray and then reconfigure this. But for right now, I think I'm gonna leave it because I like the colors together. 
I like the little ambiance of the lighting and the candle. So, on to the next. Okay, so before we get started on lunch, I want to pop in here and say a big thank you to Butcher Box for sponsoring today's video. We are going to make the most scrumptious steak salad later tonight for dinner. And part of the reason it's going to be so scrumptious is because we are going to use our Butcher Box ribeye steaks. And you guys know, we have been getting Butcher Box for almost, I'll say a year and a half, two years now, and we love it. It comes right to our doorstep. The quality of the meat is unbeatable. You can absolutely taste the difference. And every box I love that I can customize it to put the meats in there that we specifically want. So let me show you what meats we got in our box this month. So if you don't know a lot about Butcher Box, they deliver high quality meat right to your doorstep. And you can choose between 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork that's raised crate free, wild caught seafood, and so much more. Butcher Box sources all of this from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards of quality. And I love the flexibility that Butcher Box offers. You can choose the delivery frequency in which you want your box, and you can cancel at any time with no penalty. Butcher Box also has five different box options to choose from. There's four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box, which is what Bunky and I always get so that you can choose exactly what you and your family love and want to cook. Some other box options is the mixed box, beef and chicken, beef and pork, all beef, and then the basic box. Butcher Box believes in better meals enjoyed together, and that starts with their high quality meat that you can trust and feel good about feeding you and your family. It takes the guesswork out of dinner, and it gives us a better way to feed our families. These steaks that we cooked for this steak salad were absolutely incredible. We kept raving about them, and that is because they tasted so much better because they came from Butcher Box. So if you wanna try Butcher Box, be sure you head down to my description box, click that link because all new members are going to receive one pack of gluten-free chicken nuggets, six grass-fed beef burger patties, and one pound of uncured hot dogs in their first box. Okay, we're taking a break from decorating because we are hungry and about to make our lunch. Have we ever used this, Bunky? No. First time using our little KitchenAid food processor. This is so cute. Yeah, your um... My mom? Your mom gave us this you know. Probably two years ago. Probably longer ago <laughs> than she would like to know, but we're gonna put it to good use today. I'm so excited. We've tried to make hummus one or two other times, yeah. but we're gonna make it so good today. We know how to do it better now, I think. Hummus can be intimidating, like if you wanna make it yourself, you know? But it doesn't have to be. No, I, th I think it's like very simple, and once we go through this process once, and it turns out good. We're gonna wanna make it all the time, to. yeah. We're gonna be making hummus a lot. Yes, agreed. Okay, so I wanna tell y'all where we are getting our inspiration for this meal from. Two people, actually. One is our favorite YouTube channel is called Keep Your Daydream. They are RVers full time. I'm sure lots of y'all follow them and love them as well. They're incredible. But Trish, the wife, she is an excellent cook. She even has her own cookbook, her own spices, all the things. Anyway, their last video they put out they were out camping and she made her own hummus and like i guess it's called like a mediterranean salad type of thing and it looked so good and bunky and i were like we're gonna recreate this that's what we're doing that and then the steak salad i actually got this recipe idea from the pioneer woman i just recently started getting her magazines and y'all know she's been like getting healthy she's lost a lot of weight and in her magazine she talks about how you should think about cooking your protein, but instead of like making a steak and mashed potatoes, you should like put it on a bed of lettuce. And I saw a picture for it and I was like, man, that looks good. Not that I'm gonna like give up my mashed potatoes, you know, <laughs> altogether, but just for like a good lunch or even like a really nice dinner, the salad's gonna be so scrumptious. So that's where this entire meal is coming from. All right, so Bunky's gonna wash up our food processor and while he does that, I'm gonna take our cucumber and cut it up kind of like into bite-sized pieces. I have like these really pretty different colored tomatoes. I went ahead and washed those. I'm going to slice those in half. We're also going to drain our olives and then add some feta and kind of bring this little salad together.
Okay, last thing we're gonna put in here is some thinly sliced red onion per Mr. Bunky's request. So I'm basically gonna eat the like cucumbers and feta out here. Good pick around it. Okay. Oh man, that's a little pile of fun. Okay, going in. Olive oil. I wanna do a little squeeze of fresh lemon. Okay, a little salt. And then of course our feta. If you had like sun-dried tomatoes or a yellow bell pepper, you could also put that in here. So of course for the hummus, you're gonna need some chickpeas or garbanzo beans. And instead of draining this and throwing away the liquid that's inside of here, I'm actually gonna put the liquid in this bowl and then we'll use that to kind of loosen up our hummus if we need. Now to our food processor, I'm gonna add in our garbanzo beans. And then you cannot make hummus without tahini. So I'm gonna add in a good amount of this as well. Some fresh squeezed lemon juice. A little olive oil. A heaping tablespoon of garlic. And then Trish had like a really cool sriracha sauce, which I thought we had just regular sriracha, but we don't. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this chili garlic sauce in there to give it just a little bit more flavor and maybe a tiny little kick. Now to season this, of course, you can just do like some salt and pepper. I'm gonna add, I have like, you can see hopefully the tiniest little bit of my favorite Kinder's garlic and herb with sea salt and lemon because I just think that'll be delicious in here. So I'm gonna add that and then I'm also, sorry, it's quite loud. And then I'm also going to um, do a little bit of the blend because that's just salt, pepper, and garlic. All right, we're gonna pop a lid on her and see how this turns out. Hopefully it'll be really good. Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to work this thing. Nope. Okay, hang on. Okay, I finally got it. It's honestly looking pretty creamy. I might need to add in just a little bit of that garbanzo juice, but not very much. Okay, is this not picture perfect? Like, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but that is perfection right there. Monkey had to go upstairs and do some work, so he has not even tasted this hummus yet. I want you to taste the hummus first, uh -huh. then I'll let you eat that. That's a, uh, that is a, a beautiful looking spread. Like, so many different colors in there. I know. And just, all of those little veggies are calling my name. This is like something you love. Okay. Take a carrot. <laughs> and you gotta try this hummus because I am so proud of this. Like look at the consistency. Oh, oh yeah, it's very smooth. Very smooth. Looks looks like exactly like what we're looking for. That is super good. It's amazing. I wanna see if you it's, think the same thing that I think. That might be some of the best hummus I've ever had. I literally feel the same way. Do you get the teeny tiniest little kick of heat at the end? Yeah. Me too, and that's my favorite part. It's so subtle, Yeah. but it's just like there, like a little bit of flavor. What'd you put in there to add the, the, the hot, the spice? I thought we had sriracha, but we don't. Uh huh. So I did like a little bit of that chili garlic paste, whatever it is, chili garlic sauce. Oh yeah. The tiniest bit, but I'm telling you, it made all the difference. That, that was a very good addition, actually. Okay, it I is know, amazing. I can, now that you just, you told me what's in there, I can actually, I can identify it. You can taste it? I didn't know it was in there. Okay. It tasted good. Friends, y'all gotta make this hummus. Like, it is legit so good. Okay, now you can dig into your thing. Got so many of my favorite things together here, all on one plate. Oh, 
Oh boy. I can just eat that for dinner. <laughs> Seriously. My, that is so good. And Trish made it with like um, grilled salmon or mm -hmm. you could do like shrimp and just like put that around the edges and you could just like dip your shrimp in there. Y'all, this is like high level I feel. When you just take the right combination of simple fresh ingredients and put them together, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, magic. It's, it's wonderful. Bunky. Yes. <laughs> Why are you looking so scandalous tonight? What do you mean? Your little shirt's kind of like It's like off. an off the shoulder. I mean. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> you are a mess. Well, I'm back in the kitchen. My afternoon did not go as planned. I ended up having to go to Best Buy. I know I told y'all I got a new camera. Long story short, that camera was like messed up. It wasn't working properly. I had to send it off with like the Geek Squad. It came back today, not in its packaging. The battery was not there, the charger, the microphone, nothing was in there. It was a mess. So I had to go to Best Buy, get that situated. We got it all worked out. So anyway, I didn't have time to decorate, but I promise I'm not gonna decorate this living room without y'all. So I will film tomorrow. We'll have another video this week. We're gonna get it all done. But we're gonna get started on dinner. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna make our vinaigrette first, so I can kind of like marry together, you think? Yeah. Why are you grinning back there? <laughs> Funky, I don't know if it's, I just don't know. What? You're just looking so good over there. You stop, you're making <laughs> me feel embarrassed. I'm like blushing. Okay, I'm making this vinaigrette. Okay, come on down here to my bowl. This is gonna be like our little salad bowl. I'm just gonna make my dressing in here so we can just kind of like toss our greens. So let's start with. You had the olive oil last because you, right. you emulsify. Right, okay, so we're gonna start with some Dijon mustard. Is that good? Yeah. A little more? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do some. This is a really big bowl. That's more than it looks like. Yeah. Some lemon juice. We'll get the seeds out. I should have used the lemon squeezer. <laughs> a little red wine vinegar. Is that good? I probably got a little heavier on that. Good. <laughs> Lots of white pepper. Pour some salt. Oh, our garlic. Okay, and then I've got our nicer olive oil, and I'm gonna start drizzling my bunky whisk so we can kind of just get this nice and creamy. How's she looking in there? That looks good. That looks so good. Okay, we'll let this just kind of sit and hang out while we cook our steak. Okay, so I went ahead and like dabbed these off with paper towel and then to season them, I'm going to use this Kinder's Prime Steak with black garlic and truffle. We've used this on a steak a couple of times and y'all, it is scrumptious. That was genius. But when you said, I'm going to go on a secret mission, I'm like, where is he going? The freshest rosemary we've ever used. <laughs> I forgot that we had rosemary back there. Um, and then I'm just over here peeling garlic because we're gonna throw like big chunks of whole cloves in there with our rosemary butter, all the things. You guys know, we're doing cast iron skillet steak, which is like one of the best. Okay, our cast iron skillet is smoking. We've got it oiled up. We're gonna add in our steaks. Butter's too expensive. Do you use all of it? <laughs> this is that carrot gold. It's yeah. good. Alright, I'm dropping it. Well, he said, I'm gonna take this one piece and put it everywhere so we can <laughs> get the best bang for our buck. We're getting full coverage with that butter. Yes. Yeah. I love how it, uh, Foams up. Foams up. And it yeah. smells so good. It that just that just changed everything about this. Yeah. Like put the garlic in that butter, baby. A little over here, a little over there. Yeah. Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Bunky. That looks so good. 
way. Are you kidding me right now? Grab this one over here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, now we gotta put that butter and you gotta stick it on top. Mm -hmm. Sorry if it feels like we're yelling. It's very loud over the stove. <laughs> yeah. And we have the fan on. Yeah. Turn that off. That is beautiful. You know what we need to do too? What? We need to take a dump this. Uh huh. Get it out of there. Yes. Because that's a nice uh, sauciness. Sauciness. <laughs> Wowzers! I have a crazy idea. What? What if we took that butter steak stuff? Yes. And put it in the dressing. Yeah, please. Let's do it. But just a little bit, like we'll just add a little bit at a time. Okay. But that is genius. Yeah, right? That's like... Okay, put this right here. Alright, that's probably good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you know, when you're putting the olive oil in there, that's the fat component that's really emulsifying it. Right. That's the same thing. It's red. But it's infused with garlic and rosemary. And, and steak, rendered steak fat, girl. Yeah. Okay, and now for a little gorgonzola. I thought I had blue cheese, but it's actually gorgonzola, which I think I like better because it's a little bit less pungent. Mm -hmm. More mild. More mild, so that'll be nice. Plus, I love gorgonzola or blue cheese on a steak. It is like the best. Okay. Oh my gosh. Bonk. That dressing. <laughs> It's good, isn't it? Wow. I may or may not have just eaten a piece of garlic. <laughs> Look at the cook on that bad boy. It is beautiful. I mean, that, that is absolutely perfect. Don't you throw that back in there. Just share with me. Bonky. That steak is amazing. That tender seasoning is so good. Mm-hmm. I think this is just as beautiful as our lunch. Like we have had really pretty meals today. Yeah, you know what I was thinking too is like these were both. Um, they're like so simple. Like it's like just like a couple of ingredients, you know. Yeah. And there's not a lot of prep work involved. Yes. I mean, we just made this from start to finish in like 15 minutes. Yeah, no time flat. Daisy Mae's over here dancing because she wants some steak. Well, Mommy's yeah. going straight into the bowl. <laughs> For those of you who like red onion and tomatoes and gorgonzola or blue cheese. You don't even need, mm -hmm. this salad is just so delicious. That dressing is like. We need to make that more often. Oh my gosh, like it is so good. You could do shrimp, salmon, chicken, beef, oh, anything on there. This is incredible. We need more salads in our life. We do, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm about to dig in. Oh my gosh. All right, so I hope y'all had fun hanging out today. I promise we're gonna do some more decorating in a video, probably that you'll see right after this, but make sure you try these recipes. They were all just like so amazing. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I would love for you to join our family. Give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to check out Butcher Box down below in my description box. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Wanted to provide some additional commentary about the hummus earlier. Uh -huh. Because that hummus was not like cold out of the refrigerator, uh -huh. and it was, I'm not gonna say it was warm, but it was like room temperature. room temperature, but it was still fresh. It was so much better that way. Oh. Like just, just that freshly made hummus yes. with that. Mm. Then those cooling cucumbers, tomatoes. It was a hit. <laughs> <laughs> so was this.